Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the gear that I use when I go photographing using film. This here is my Canonet QL17. This one I hardly ever use, mostly because it doesn't have interchangeable lenses, um, and I'm not a huge fan of range finders. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. It's just more of a, a hands-on kind of workflow type thing that I'm not fairly used to. Um, otherwise, a good camera, sharp lens, I'll throw up some pictures of what I've taken recently with this camera. This here is the Mamiya RB67. Uh, this is a camera that I've been taking a lot of my recent photographs with, uh, mostly because I made the transition over to medium format several months ago, and I've just been absolutely loving it. Uh, the difference between the two formats is just amazing. You get so much more quality, uh, larger negatives, and overall just a better photograph. This here has the 90 millimeter 3.5 lens. I've been shooting the majority of my work with, and I haven't really wanted uh, to invest in a different lens. So super happy with that lens. And if you, you can tell, you can probably tell that this, uh, this thing is a tank. This thing is heavy. Uh, I don't have a grip for it. I don't have uh, the other viewfinder that you can get for this, the prism viewfinder. Just a waist level viewfinder, uh, pretty bare bones, um, fully mechanical. Uh, it's the RB, not the RZ67. So you do have your, your winder here and then another one up here. Otherwise, pretty solid camera, pretty happy with it, and I probably won't be switching to a different one anytime soon. This here's actually a recent pickup that I'm hopefully going to be able to try out soon. I did order some 4x5 Tri-X that's on the way. I have some portrait, but I'd rather put some inexpensive black and white film through this first to make sure that it's working. Mostly because we have done some repairs to this. We added some new bellows. Uh, we changed the back hood out too. Uh, we did a few more things. We added a few accessories here, uh, like the original uh, Linhoff shutter release cable. And uh, I put a 150 mil on here, the original lens that came with it. Uh, and it did have kind of a jank board. Uh, this one's a little bit jank too. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but trust me, it's pretty jank. Uh, so we're gonna test this whole thing out hopefully soon. Hopefully that'll be the next video uh, where I give it a go at four by five large format. And hopefully everything that we did to this camera is uh, kosher, but we'll see about that. Here is the Olympus Mew, another camera that I don't normally use. Um, mostly because I recently got it as well. Um, I just got a really good deal with this one. I'm actually super, super grateful that I was able to come across this camera. Um, I've been wanting one for years, but never really pulled the trigger on it, mostly because it's not that necessary of a camera to have. Um, you know, I have other 35 millimeter cameras. I have that Canonet. I also have a Minolta. Um, again, two cameras that I don't really shoot with anymore, mostly because uh, I've moved on to medium format. And so kind of just been sticking around that format. This also 35 millimeter. Uh, it doesn't really give you very much control, uh, especially if you try to throw in a roll that you weren't really finished with. If you try to do the thing where you cover the lens and try to take pictures so you can get back to that frame that you were on, say frame five or six, it won't let you do that. If it detects that it's too dark, it won't take the photograph. Okay, so here is the Instax Mini. This is a camera that I absolutely do not use. Uh, I actually feel bad because I have so much film for it and then I just, I don't use it. There's actually a layer of dust on this camera. You probably can't see it on, uh, through, through your monitor, whatever phone, whatever you're viewing this on. Uh, but yeah, thick layer of dust. I don't use this camera very often. Um, rarely do I ever pull this out. I have so much film for it. I really need to go through it. Uh, just not a fan of the format, uh, especially when I have an SX-70. I know I look like a giant. I am. And of course, we can't forget about the OG Minolta SRT-102, my very first film camera. Um, it actually has a roll in there right now. I've been shooting it recently, so, you know, just trying to actually use the camera. This was an amazing deal. Uh, came with a 50mm 1.7, uh, graduated to a 45.2, if you can even call that, uh, an upgrade uh, slightly wider. 
All right, that's been it. That is every film camera that I own. Thank you for watching. If you guys wanna follow my Instagram, I'm gonna have it linked down below. Um, it's gonna be at Marcos underscore R-N-G-L. We'll see you guys in the next one, later.